Hey y'all. So in this video, we are going to do a low carb beer taste test. So I'm Melanie. This is my husband, Tim. This is my Hello. brother, Sean. So I've coerced them into trying some low carb beers. So I have set up five different beers here. We do have a glass of water to cleanse our palate in between. So I just wanted to read to you some information I'd found. Light beers uh, complement food that are roasted, broiled, or barbecued. Even chicken and turkey will benefit from light ales. Beer makers add enzymes that break down more starches into sugars. Once the yeast is added, those sugars turn into alcohol. With fewer carbohydrates in a light beer, there's, a high, there's supposed to be a higher alcohol content. Um, at that point, the beer then is generally diluted. So that was, that's what makes it a light beer. All right, so the first beer we have is right from Guelph, and it is a Sleeman 2.0. So in this whole can of beer is three grams of carbs. Well, I only eat 20 grams a day, so that's pretty... Day, so that's pretty... So we're just gonna have a taster. So what are we judging this on? We're gonna just see if we like it. And we're gonna try and pick the best low carb beer out of this. So it's nice and yellow. Smells good. Okay. It smells like a regular beer. Okay, cheers. <laughs> oh, cheers. cheers. Oh. It's not Jaeger, man. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't mind this beer. That's good. Um, it doesn't have a lot of flavor. Mm. It reminds me of regular Sleeman. But it's um, I don't know. It smells. It smells like beer. It's. It just. I don't know the right word. I don't want to. If it walks like a duck and it talks like a duck, maybe it's a duck. It's a beer. Oh, excuse me. So we are gonna all have a sip of water, cleanse our palate, swish it around, get the sleeman out of your mouth. It was good. I would, I would do, should we rate them? Like what, how many? Uh... I would give this an eight out of 10. An eight out of 10. I would give this one an eight out of 10. And I'll tell you why. I have been drinking Michelob Ultra for about two years. So this is, Probably, it's a, yeah, it's a sec, it would be a good second beer for me. Um, I'm thinking a uh, six out of ten. And Sean? Yeah. A six? Oh, you guys and your low carb and your regular beers. So now we are going to review Miller Lite. And Miller Lite is 3.2 grams of carbs for every 371 milliliters. This is like a 500 milliliter can, so I just wanna let you know, it is 4% alcohol. And of course it has the MLB on the side, so. And in honor of Major League Baseball spring training, that's why we're doing this video. So we have the right beer to drink <laughs> while we're watching the Blue Jays games. On Sunday. So this is Miller Lite. Full strong. It does smell stronger. It smells really hoppy. <clears throat> yeah, and it's it's got the same, it looks the same as the uh, Selena. Mm. Stronger. This one's oh, nicer. Oh yeah, there's this a, a, a lot more flavor there. Mm. Selena, I might have to change my rating to a seven and go to an eight on this baby. It smells better. This Miller is better. How many carbs were in this one? Uh, it was like 3.8. Carbs, three point two carbs. Sorry. So a little bit more high, a little more carb carbs than the Sleeman, but it but, has a lot more taste. Yeah, there's a lot more taste to it. Okay. Miller. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're gonna be bloated and boozed up. Okay. So our next beer is Dab. And our Dab is a German beer. 
It's 5% alcohol. Um, it doesn't give me the green. Oh, this one actually is supposed to have zero carbs. So at the liquor store today when I went in, the gentleman didn't really know a lot about carbs and stuff. Uh, low carb beers, he just directed me to Molson 67 and Michelob Ultra. What was really, really funny was I went around with my Fitness Pal app and we will talk about Fitness Pal in another video. But in the Fitness Pal <laughs> app, um, I scanned a bunch of beers. So anything that was less than a three, I pretty much brought home. So I brought... Like I more flavor. Yeah. I see my husband topping his glass as full as he can. This beer, DAB, is one of my, my favorite summertime beers for barbecuing and stuff like that. I find that uh, I was actually very surprised that it says there's zero grams of carbs in this beer. So if this is a zero carb beer, I'm gonna drink it all the time because, well, it's got no carbs. Cheers. 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 There we go. Oh, excuse me. This one is very flavorful. I would still only give it about a six. This isn't my favorite <clears throat> beer. I've had this beer before. It is, yeah. <laughs> it is strong. There's a lot more. It's got 5% alcohol in it. Yeah, so this is a lot stronger. So if the principle of making a light beer is that they dilute it with water after the enzymes have created the alcohol, then I assume then that the dab beer is diluted less than their other beers because it has a higher alcohol volume. Content, yeah. Mm. So dab beer for you, Sean, what's your rating? Probably a four. I don't like strong beer. Okay, Tim? I like the flavor of this beer, I would say an eight. Okay. Like so let's uh, rinse our mouth. On to Molson 67. Uh, Molson 67 has about three... Like yeah, it's got about three grams of carbs per... So this whole can has three grams of carbs. There is only 3% alcohol. So I might let my 16 year old drink this. Right. I'm no. just kidding. I'm just totally kidding. This is a lot like Molson Canadian. Yeah, it looks <laughs> a lot like Molson Canadian. I think I. Again, it's very, very light. Very light in color. It's it smells like Canadian. Kind of brings me back to it's my youth. Like Canadian watered down Canadian. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, After, tastes, it tastes like the bar we went to when they were they were pulling the draft in New Market. And, 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 <laughs> and it was all foam and it was all watery beer. It's um, not bad. After drinking the dab, this one has no flavor. Yeah. It doesn't have a lot of flavor at all. Mm. It's like a watery flavor. Mm. But it's cute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I've been known to drink beer on ice. So, excuse me, gents. What's your rating? Probably like a 6 or 7. So you're going to say... like Canadian. <laughs> so what, what number are you giving it, Probably Sean? Seven, yeah. So Sean's giving it a 7 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 6. It's it's palatable. And I I mean, in a pinch, I would drink this again. Uh, For me, so far, this is my least favorite. Carbs per beer. Probably a better beer. This is, I actually bring this back from the States quite often. I do drink this a lot when we have guests um, or when it, no, don't give me any more. <laughs> or if it's a Saturday. I don't really need an excuse to drink this beer. I very much enjoy. Yeah, it smells good. Cheers. Light color Cheers. again. Cheers. 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 My brother-in-law calls it water. Yeah. <laughs> he does. This can too is the American can. Uh, in Canada, it only comes in bottles or the smaller size cans. And it's a little bit 
costly yeah. here in Canada. Yeah. So this is my favorite and I will give it a nine out of 10. Jens? Six? Four. <laughs> oh, Tim. It's very late here. He's sleeping alone tonight. <laughs> so all I'm gonna say is, is realistically, I think the big winner out of all of these beers was was the Dab and the the Miller Light. Yeah. I think that they were good. The Sleeman was good. It just it wasn't as great as these two beers. If you like a stronger no carb beer, I would go with the Dab. If you wanted a nice beer that was sort of similar to a regular, I would probably go with the Miller Light. What do you guys think? Sixty nine. Oh. <laughs> This wall is 67. For me, it would be DAB, Miller Lite, Sleeman, and it's a toss up between these two. Oh, yeah. And your favorite? It's the 67. More than 67. <laughs> it tastes like Canadian, you know, it does. It's a little watered down. A little watered down Canadian. So, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. And if you don't know about my website, melanieannhomelife.ca, have a wee gander on there. And uh, yeah, I think that uh, we're going to enjoy the long weekend this weekend. <laughs>